Hey astrology lovers, it's your astrologer Julia Mijas with my manager Luna and we're going to tell you how the sky looks for December. So big stuff is happening friends because two outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn, are both leaving Capricorn and heading into Aquarius. Jupiter and Saturn represent totally different things because Jupiter means luck, opportunity and expansion. He's kind of like the fat and happy Santa Claus of the Zodiac who gives out presents. By contrast, Saturn means challenge, testing and limitations. But Saturn is not just the cosmic buzzkill, he's got a higher manifestation as well. He likes to test things to sort of see if you're on the right path, and when he brings headaches to some part of your chart or some area in your life, he's forcing you to examine what you're really doing by showing you what your weaknesses are. So when both of these planets enter one of your houses, it means that the themes of that house are going to be very prominent, and there's going to be both some growth as well as some tests. There's also a total lunar eclipse at 23 degrees Sagittarius on December 14th. And this is a highly idealistic and enterprising lunar eclipse where you might want to hit the ground running on some project that wasn't very well thought through. Now, as you aim for the stars, be careful not to steer your wagon into a ditch. There's also a full moon in eight degrees Cancer on December 29th. And this is a time for finishing up some family or home activity where you can put your own unique spin on things to make life a little more interesting. Now, 2020 has been a wild ride thanks to that historic shit show of a conjunction by Saturn and Pluto. Now, this last lunation of 2020 looks like a much more pleasant close to the year where you can take a new approach to family and home, which gives you a sense of roots and sanity amidst all the chaos. Hey Pisces, so both Jupiter and Saturn are popping into your 12th house where they're going to stay throughout 2021. This is the house of spirituality and compassion. With Jupiter here, you might be more drawn to the immaterial and ethereal dimensions of life. Maybe you want to spend more time at church, or maybe you want to go on a meditation retreat. You can also look at yourself with more compassion too, so it's a really good time to learn to not be so hard on yourself. You might also come across spiritual teachers, and they can come in all forms. So Saturn, the planet of testing, is also coming in here. This is a time for finishing up old projects and not starting new ones. This is also a great transit for looking at yourself squarely in the face to really assess what you've accomplished from what you haven't. Just don't, you know, beat yourself up too much. Jupiter's gonna help though. Just observe so that you can make successful changes later. Then cut your losses and realize that new beginnings are just ahead. So Venus, the love planet, starts the month in your ninth house, which means that you're going to take pleasure in anything which is exotic, foreign, adventurous, and worldly. If you're single, then you could become super attracted to someone who comes from a really different background than you. If you're in school, you could have a crush on a classmate or even be hot for teacher. Then Venus is going to enter your 10th house of career on the 16th. If you need to kiss up to your boss, you're going to be extra charming, and this is a great transit for getting along well with the people you work with. If you're single, you might even get a crush on a coworker. Thanks for watching. Me and Luna are about to go for a ride, but we're putting out astrology videos every month, so if you want to hear us talk about anything in particular, please leave a comment below. Ciao for now!